Kodama is Hausa name for irrigable land, usually low-lying plains underlay by shallow aquifer, that is water table, found along Nigeria's major river systems. The third National Fadama Development Project, Fadama 3, is a follow-on to the second National Fadama Development Project implemented between 2004 and 2008. Fadama 3 project is implemented in 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. The project's development objective is to increase incomes of rural land and water resources users on a sustainable basis. By increasing their incomes, the project will help reduce rural poverty, increase food security, and contribute to the achievement of a key Millennium Development Goal, MDG. The project's approach is anchored on community-driven development principle and relies on facilitation for demand-driven investments, empowerment of local community groups, and to improve productivity and land quality. The beneficiary rural communities are encouraged to collectively decide on how resources are located and managed for their livelihood activities and to participate in the design and execution of their sub-projects. Since the commencement of Fadama 3 project in June 2009, FCT Fadama Coordination Office of Agriculture and Rural Development Secretariat, Federal Capital Territory Administration, has remained focused on the actualization of Fadama 3 design, which includes the use of community-driven development approach, Fadama Institutional System Development, adoption of participatory rural appraisal and social inclusiveness in local development plan preparation, extensive facilitation and capacity building for project stakeholders, facilitation of effective demand responsive advisory service and input support, small-scale community-owned infrastructure and assets acquisition by individual Fadama users groups or economic interest groups. These are pivotal to the successful achievement of the project development objective. For effective implementation of Fadama 3 in FCT, the six area councils were delineated into 19 Fadama development areas. They are Abaji, Bwari, Dobi, Dutse Alaji, Galki, Gaube, Gwagwalada, Jiwa, Karshi, Karu, Kuje, Kwaita, Kwaku, Kwali, Pai Kundu, Rubochi, Tunga Maje, Wako Ashara, and Yaba. At the commencement of the project implementation, the FCT Fadama Coordination Office carried out extensive sensitization of rural communities in all the six area councils. Also, various stakeholders of the project at area councils and FCTA levels were sensitized on the design and implementation strategy of the project. The Community Development and Information Support component has made giant strides in the areas of community mobilization, identification, and formation of economic interest groups into Fadama user groups, facilitation of local development plan preparation, as well as the conduct of capacity building training for communities. To date, 78 FCAs and 1,027 FUGs have been formed so far with a total of 15,149 members, out of which 6,363 or 42% are women, while 2,544 or 17% are unemployed youths. Similarly, 74 local development plans have been produced by the communities and approved by their respective local Fadama development committees. 2,310 members from 715 groups have received capacity building trainings in the areas of group dynamics, community-based procurement and financial management, record keeping and environmental safeguards among others. The project has also organized training of trainers' workshops for FCT Fadama coordination officers, project community facilitators, and officials of Federated Fadama Community Associations on Cooperatives, Savings and Credit Scheme, and Fadama User Equity Fund. This has made the cooperatives to imbibe the true spirit of cooperation and savings culture as a panacea for sustainability. 20 community-owned infrastructure have been completed so far. These include 13 boreholes and fish ponds with overhead tanks, two culverts, one lock-up shop, 
one VIP latrine and three open market stores. 318 advisory service activities and 264 inputs requests have been implemented. Also, 93 representatives of 27 Fadama Community Association and Fadama Users Groups that are into fish production went to one of the most advanced and highly equipped fish farm in Nigeria, consecrated farms Ushi in Ekiti, for experience sharing and learning events. The asset acquisition support for individual Fadama user groups and economic interest groups supported 382 groups on the income generating activities. These supports as contained in local development plan prepared by benefiting communities include 34 livestock equipment, housing, drinkers, feeders, etc. 35-year-old Malama Aishat has four children and is a stakeholder along with other women constituting the animal rearing group of Kakashi Fadama Community Association, Abaji. They have acquired inputs and advisory service for small ruminant production which are kept here by the group and will be sold for profit in nine months. <laughs> We thank God for the arrival of Fadama facilitators to inject us with the modern way Fadama trees were trying to help the masses so that we can become self-reliant. With the coming of Fadama, we vastly improve in most of our doings. Some of us are farmers. And you know in the farming seasons, you have to farm for three months six months before you start harvesting. Which, with this, there are some species that were given to us that in two months, you can dispose them and replace them with new stock. Other assets acquired to support individual groups are 168 crop production equipment, water pumps, sprayers, protective clothing, etc. Schumer Farmers Cooperative Society is enjoying the irrigation facilities acquired to support dry season farming. Padama give us a horse and a four pumping machine and sprayer with the help of our business. Because before we get some engine, then Padama can add more for us. As Padama can give us this uh, more painting machine, I will start open another place and the crops get water every time. There are also 25 agro-processing equipment, grains, cassava, share butter processing equipment, etc. 35 fish production equipment, including ponds, tanks, etc. Six marketing facilities, input shops, preservation and hygiene facilities. Five agroforestry equipment. 308 members from 154 Fadama users groups received capacity building training on the utilization of their acquired assets. Due to the high cost and difficulties associated with culturing fish in concrete tanks, coupled with the difficulties in securing land in the territory, it becomes imperative for the project to find cheaper and better alternative means of culturing fish. To ensure that this great potential is fully harnessed, the project, in consultation with and consent of the groups, decided to seek expert advice on how best to ensure the successful development of the aquaculture value chain through adoption of modern technology and best practices in the enterprise in order to avoid the pitfalls experienced in Fadama 2. This desire led to the establishment of necessary linkages and collaboration with the foremost agencies charged with the development of aquaculture in Nigeria, the National Institute for Freshwater Fisheries Research, New Busa, the Federal Department of Fisheries, Igbokoda, and Kosek Recruited Farms Limited, a private enterprise in Ushie Kiti. The collaboration led to the discovery of the use of fiberglass tanks for fish culture, a simple, cost-effective and environmentally friendly technology for modern aquaculture. More so, it requires limited space. Equally, the sourcing of pure line fingerlings and quality feed is guaranteed through this collaboration in addition to training of groups on the use and maintenance of the tanks and modern aquaculture techniques. 
The project today is happy to say that with the adoption of these technology-driven initiatives, the problems of large space requirement, high cost of establishment, and difficulties in maintenance are now a thing of the past. Similarly, the production cycle for fish by FCAs and FUGs is shortened with the fingerlings capable of attaining table weight for months after stocking. Concerned youths for Dama users groups of Kutunku Community Association are into fish production, supported by FCT. Fadama 3 project. The group is comprised of about 20 youths with Williams Ngwakwe as chairman. Williams is 33 years old and qualified as a geologist in 2005. After years with no employment, he decided to gather other unemployed youths to take their destinies in their own hands. He said the group now makes a profit of about 100,000 naira monthly. In the middle of 2009, we become part of, we get ourselves acquainted with the Fadama activities in the city. And through that process, our procurement process was being done uh, from the area council level to the, to the office there. And at the end of the day, we got this assistance from Fadama. We haven't chosen a uh, fish pond as part of our sub project. So we are given, we, we are given this fiber tank and uh, 1,000 uh, fish to grow for the group. 50% of fish, if not even more than consumed in this country, is being imported. And within our locality, the nutrition content is not that much, um, much in terms of other food we eat. And we felt if we grow this locally, people could actually buy it from us easily. And at the end of the day, we make some little profits. And that will help us to grow as uh, this thing. And uh, looking at the technicality that is also involved, we also see it as an opportunity for other youth, for our youth to learn so many other skills are the process. So many of us never knew much about uh, procurement processes. And uh, that is one of the knowledge that I know everybody who is part of Fatima. Three projects have actually learned from, from the office. And uh, apart from that, too, well, a few trainings that have also been organized have actually helped us with the communities to develop. <music>